Hey Cupcakes, it's your girl Calorie. You might recognize me from a little show called RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10. I'm here to do my very first makeup tutorial and give you a little bit of a glorified Chola Kardashian beatdown. Watch me go from this to this. So the first essential thing that we're going to do is we're going to block out these man brows. This is to help get rid of all the oils so that the adhesive will stick really good to our skin so we don't have popping of the eyebrows. First thing I'm gonna go in with is my trusty little glue stick. I love to use the purple one because it helps me know whenever my eyebrows have dried. And then I go in with just a, a comb or a brush. I tend to use a comb mainly because it's washable and I can reuse it instead of having to spend all kinds of money. Drag queens get creative, okay? We don't use traditional items. So what I'm gonna use is a cuticle pusher and I'm really gonna go in, I'm gonna press these brows down, like press. Sometimes I'll use a swirling motion so it really gets the glue inside. And normally I go in and I put about three coats and I just mimic the same process. Now, while this layer usually sits on. I usually put in my contacts because my brown eyes are just a little too nice for stage and Calorie, she's a bad bitch. So now I'm gonna go in with my final layer of glue and this layer I do differently than the other two mainly because instead of smoothing it out with my applicator, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna press it down with a colored translucent powder. I just do a soft little dab and then I go in and I really, really press them in. Press them in. When I like to do my makeup, I like to start with my eyes and my eyebrows. Eyebrows to me are the nipples of the face. Like, you know you a bad bitch when your eyebrow is right. So I'm gonna come in and I go over my eyebrow just slightly. And then I'm gonna come into my, my arch and then bring back down my tail. I'm using a cream contour. It's like a dark brown contour. It's kind of a neutral color. Eyebrows are not twins. They're meant to be sisters. So one eyebrow is always gonna be better than the other. Because if you look at the Kardashians girl, you know their eyebrows are always right. Their eyebrows are always on fleek. So now I'm gonna go in under my crease with my, my highlight. I'm gonna go right underneath and just really clean up that brow. You know, like bitch, you're trying to be snatched. Now you start to tell that they're a little bit more related. They're not cousins no more. They're looking a little bit more like sisters, but like a stepsister. I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyebrows with my corresponding powders. I'm gonna go in with my lighter powder, which is going to be right under my eyebrow. I think that pigmented powders really help my makeup just because it gives that little bit more of an added pigment. For stage, I feel that you need all the pigment that you can get. So now I'm just going in with a white eyeshadow underneath my eyebrow and I'm just gonna highlight this so that it just really brings out my brow bone. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with a super cute little pink eyeshadow. And this is one of my favorites, just cause it's pink, it's cute. It's cute with K. I usually like to start with my lighter colors first and then build on top of that with my darker. Some girls will bring it into the, the bridge of their nose. I feel it's a little old school, so I like to bring it actually in my corner, so it kind of makes my eyes just look a little bit smaller. So if you notice here, going into my brow bone, but then I bring it in the corner of my eye versus on to my the bridge of my nose. And we're done. And then just put on some lip gloss and call it a day. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go in with just kind of a neutral, cool brown one of my favorites. And then I'm gonna really just start to go in and just define that crease. I like for more of the pigment and the color concentration to be towards the back because I feel it really pulls the eye back and it kind of gives you like that like real snatched back look. And then bringing it into the bridge. So I like to do the eyeliner first so that I just cover less with glitter. I'm just going in with a cute little angle brush with a potted black eyeliner. I always like the tip of my eyeliner to kind of be in the direction of the tip of my brow. See, having it pointed directed. And then from there, I literally close my eye and then I create that line all the way back down to kind of close off the, the eyeliner. And boom. Then from there, we're just gonna go in and we're gonna fill. Now, we're gonna go in with glitter. And I use a clear eyelash glue because it dries clear. Just feel this fantasy. And if you don't make faces at yourself in the mirror, you are not living for your fantasy. And then that means you need to take it off and restart. I'm about to go in with my cream foundation, my cream highlight, and my cream contour. I like to do a little bit darker than my skin tone 
because on stage, it just reads better. It just gives you more depth. It doesn't make you look so washed out. So again, I'm just blending all of this in and I just use just like this nice little foundation brush. Now I'm gonna go in with my highlight. Again, starting with all of my lighter colors first. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start blending this into everything. Blend, darling, blend. And I love to highlight my lip just because it gives you that like real droopy, pouty look. Very Kendall Jenner. I actually bring my contour down kind of from the corner of my mouth to this little thing you write under the ear because I feel like it really just slims down my face, gives me that real chiseled cheekbone kind of look. Just very Kim Kardashian. What I like to do is I like to create a triangle from the temple to the corner of my mouth to this point of my ear. And that's where I want my contour to go. And back up. Rounding this off so we can get that real, just feminine jawline. I'm gonna start here and then just slowly just start to blend this out. Bring it up in a little bit, just kind of give you that cute little chin. It's a very woman. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go in with my highlighting powder. And that's the great thing about makeup is that you can just get as creative as you want to be in. Like creative with a K, okay? Because everything's that level, level of extra and you know calorie is just extra. With that same yellow highlighting powder that we used for eyebrows, I'm gonna go in right under my jawline to kind of cut out this cheek and then just to really highlight underneath to help with that feminine face. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes now. Coming forward, leaving out that little corner. I put the white hair and then keep the darker hair so it really gives me that effect of being real snatched back. Just, you know, from, from afar it looks great. We're gonna go ahead and go in with our contour powder. So I'm gonna work from here, work down, and then now up. Watch out, Rodeo Drive, girl, I'm coming. I'm gonna be walking down the street and be like, hey, Kim K, and be like, oh no, it's me, Calorie. We're gonna go ahead and go in and dust everything off, and now we're gonna bake at 340 degrees for 20 minutes. You could just go out looking like this for a hot dog, cupcake, cake. And then now, we're gonna move on to the lips. So I start from the inner corner and then I work my way out. And the boys be mm -mm, loving my lips. I am obsessed with this nude color. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a super white powder and I'm going to put it on the center of my lip to kind of give me a very like highlighted ombre effect. Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> We're going to finish the eyebrows, dust all of this off, add a lash, and then get into all the jish. I like to start it in the middle, work my way down to the tip, and then blend it out to the front. Cute. So my lashes are a custom pair of four stacked 301s. I usually like to start it from the inner corner. <sighs> These are just eyelashes that I have cut off of a strip. Well, let's just be that level of extra, girl. Let's add some rhinestone. And this is just a beautiful gloss. We are gonna go low like a diamond. And you can never have too much highlighter, never. If anybody ever tells you that you've had too much, don't trust them. <laughs> They're not your friend. Oh, just look. Oh, a pumpkin to something. Mm. Alrighty guys, my makeup's done now. Um, oh, I forgot to do my titties. I like to push up just a little bit just so I can kind of see where I want my shape to go. Do a little bit of highlight. Just to really bring out this chest define this crease. Look, she already looked like a woman. All right guys, my makeup is done. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my hair and my outfit and I'll be right back.
And we're back. I have on my jewels, my outfit. This is a classic Kardashian beatdown paying homage to my girl Kim Kardashian. Follow me on my journey to stardom on Instagram at Cal Kardashian W. We'll see you guys out on the road. Mwah. Keep it cute. Hey beauties, it's Sasha Velour, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Do you want all the hot Drag Race tea? Then you better subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel, and you'll have all the fresh videos sent directly to your inbox. Now that's something not to joke about.